In this question, we are talking about consider integers a and b such that a square plus b square is exactly divisible by 4. Prove by contradiction that a and b cannot be the odd. So now, whenever I say prove by contradiction, so which means they are saying that a and b cannot be the odd. Now, we need to consider taking the opposite statement of that. So by contradiction, I'm going to take that A and B are odd numbers, odd integers. So I'm going to consider taking A and B are odd integers. And using that, I'm going to try and prove that a square plus b square is exactly divisible by 4. And if I'm not able to prove it, then I would say that, okay, a and b cannot be the odd. So that's what it meant by prove it by contradiction. And here, a I'm going to take it as a is an odd number. So that means it has to be 2 times some number let's say m plus 1 and b has to be 2 times n plus 1 where m and n can be any integers. So this is the first thing that we need to write. Now if I talk about this a square plus b square and we need to prove that a square plus b square has to be divisible by 4. So in that case it's going to be in place of a I'm going to put this 2m plus 1 and there's a square and in place of b i am going to put this 2n plus 1 and there is also a square so if i expand this it using this a plus b whole square so it's going to be 4m square plus 4m plus 1 and here it has to be 4n square plus 4n plus 1 again so in that case it's going to be 4m square plus 4m plus again 4n square plus 4n plus 2. And here I can take 4 common out. 4 into m square plus m plus n square plus n plus 2. Now, we definitely know that this part is going to be a multiple of 4. But will the entire part be multiple of 4? Definitely not. So we know this, this is going to be a multiple of 4 because it's like 4 times some constant and where all this m and n are integers. So no matter what is the result of this part is, this part is going to be always a multiple of 4. And whenever we have a multiple of 4 and if 2 is getting added, so in that case, a square plus b square cannot be a multiple of 4. So that's why. So we initially took that a and b are odd integers. And when we take a and b are odd integers, and we were able to prove that, that a square plus b square cannot be a multiple of 4. So that's why by contradiction, by contradiction, we can say that a square plus b square is a multiple of 4, multiple of 4, or whenever I say multiple of 4 or divisible by 4, both are exactly the same. That's why by contradiction, I can say that a square plus b square is a multiple of 4 when a and b are not an odd integers. So this is what is the right answer for the sum. And here the marks distribution goes something like this. And it's a six marker. So one mark is for assuming that A and B both are odd integers. And the second mark is for taking down this, writing down this statement. And the third mark is for substituting it and doing the expansion. 
and the fourth mark is for showing up this particular step and the fifth and sixth mark is for let's say using these statements so these things would the statement wise putting it in words so that's going to give you two marks this is how the six marks are distributed for this sum. Thank you.